what is up guys um, back with another video um, today I thought it was a good opportunity um, to do some more baseline strategy testing and this is actually going to be a part one and hopefully I can keep this video pretty short and not ramble too much um, so I can uh, get into the meat of it and start producing part two so essentially uh, I've ran out of currency ran out of currency I mean I'm I'm really low on money right now um, by the standards at this point in the league with inflation the way it is. And I know some people will be looking at this, you have 12 divines and 2300 chaos, like you're not broken. I'm like, okay, that's true. I kind of feel super broke because I just lost about 250 divines uber bossing over about two days. Um, that's including my profit from drops. I, I just, man, uh, I got, uh, I got scammed a little bit. A lot of one divine forbidden flesh and flames, and a lot of uh, a certain t uh, tier zero drop from the Maven. I actually three to one to my Echo Forges, um, which I complained about in a previous video, probably because it yeah you know uh, it's a little upsetting to drop such a rare and useless item so many times. Um, but anyway, before I before I digress into my woes of Uber bossing, I want to talk about what I'm doing here. So essentially. Um, I'm doing Betrayal and Essence Farming, and I'm sure you guys have heard this a thousand times. Um, the, the tree looks a little weird. I want you to, to bear with me and try and ignore that. The, the things that you need on this tree are the seventh gate um, and all the gates to activate it, so you can put Essence on your map device, and then you need all your Betrayal nodes. Um, these Betrayal nodes, in my opinion, are, are not important. Um, because I, I already have a lot of June missions, and like this reinforcement chance is not super impactful for me, so I, I skipped these ones and just took all of the progress, intelligence, um, higher ranking members ones. Um, and then obviously, um, essence notes. Uh, the rest of this is free form. Whatever altars you want, you want to do steering exarch altars, doesn't matter. If you, I mean, you could technically do, I don't think you'd want to do destructive play because you're largely going to be staying on the same couple tile sets. And destructive play, you need, you need to use 10 different maps if you're not using, you know, Conqueror, Shaper, Elder maps. So my full investment for this, um, and I did factor in the cost of these maps. I did not pay for these maps, they're just in my stash, but I, I tallied up the cost. Everything here, and this is all that I'm using, um, costs about one divine total. Um, most of that is this 16 use essence compass that was a 130C. Um, and I evaluated the maps uh, kind of generously at 5C. I mean, I think that you can find, you don't need them to be tier 16, you don't need them to be any particular layout, you just need 16 maps that you enjoy playing and that you feel like you can efficiently find all the essences and betrayal events on. Totally up to you. People recommend Strand, people like. Uh, you know, dunes, people like whatever map they're going to like. For me, my favorite map in Path of Exile is Defiled Cathedral. Sag hasn't been in the game for a while, but, uh, you know, obviously um, I'm a Defiled Cathedral enjoy enjoyer and would be probably playing that for this strategy as suboptimal as it would be. I don't know why. I just love Defiled Cathedral. Um, and then Remnants of Corruption, uh, two see a pop. I just bought nine of them to start, and then I have some, you know, they're going to be Corrupted Essences of my maps, and I hope I can sustain that way. So I'm going to be probably streaming this uh, on Twitch, so there will be a VOD of me actually going through it. I'm not going to record the whole thing for YouTube because it would be really long um, for YouTube by YouTube video standards. Um, and what I'm going to do is run 16 or 32 of these maps. I haven't really decided yet. I'm going to see how fast I go, like uh, what it looks like. Um, and then uh, go from there, and I'll come back to you guys with the results of this strat and I'm, I'm unlike my delirium video. I think I learned from that one. I I'm going to, I'm going to do the farming first and then project the earnings. Cause the delirium video, I was definitely, my head was in the clouds with how much currency actually gets made. It, the, the profit is with the delirium farming. This league is decent, but delirium farming is kind of a slog. And I, if I could go back in time, I would probably make that video differently but you know i was i was really really excited about how cheap that compass was and i just kind of made the video and pushed it out and that's how it goes um i don't think it's tur super turbo misleading it's just i was a little bit too excited about it um so yes that's basically the overview of everything and before i uh ramble too much oh one more thing i wanted to cover in part one is yeah my build's pretty end game like my build's really strong but this strategy and you'll hear this all over youtube and all over twitch this strategy does not 
have any dependency on the tier of the map. So it's you can do tier three strands. You can do white maps. So if you have to kind of take bite the bullet and be like, yo, my build's going to clear this content more efficiently on lower tier maps and just do it. And that's been really popular this league, obviously for Magic Find with T7 Cemetery, and then with Beast and Essence and White Maps, which I think is still, Beast and Essence and White Maps, I do think is the best um, starting strategy for currency in the game. Um, maybe throwing Alva in there as well. Um, or Alva instead of Beast, rather, is competitive. Um, because Cricket Chim Chimeras can be kind of rare. Um, th but I'm, I might make a video on that at some point. For, for now, I'm just going to do this. This is what I have available, and uh, the fact that the maps are tier 16 is not going to factor into the profit results very much, if at all, and I'm not going to count anything that drops on the map other than uh, my Betrayal and Essence um, rewards, essentially. So yeah, this is uh, part one. Uh, be back with part two shortly. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I wish you many lucky drops today.